Brothers and sisters, this is Bishop Weisenberger, and I'm just here today to say a few quick words on our beloved Saint Joseph, to whom Pope Francis has entrusted this year as a special patron for us all. In his brief apostolic letter, Patris Corde, Latin words meaning with a father's heart, Pope Francis points out that at the beginning of the great task entrusted to Saint Joseph, he responds powerfully and with great love Recall the angel's instruction to Joseph in a dream. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Pope Francis points out that St. Joseph had the courage to become the legal father of Jesus, giving Mary's child the name revealed to him by the angel. You see, for ancient peoples, to give a name to a person or to a thing was to establish a relationship. We see this in Adam from the book of Genesis, naming all the plants and animals, entering into relationship with them. We see God naming people. We even see God changing people's names in the scriptures, like Abram to Abraham, when God's task for that person changes. But again, entrusted with the task of fostering God's own son and watching over his mother Mary, Joseph responds immediately and generously. He humbly steps into the role of protector, provider, teacher, the one perceived by the world as a loving father to the one who, with time, will reveal the one true loving father of us all. Brothers and sisters, for 2,000 years, faithful Catholics have turned to St. Joseph and come to know his loving fatherly help. Let us turn to him for his intercession as well listening carefully to see if perhaps in our time of need, we don't hear him in a sense calling our name and like a loving father, nurturing us in whatever task it is, the one true father has for us as well.